Hello, it's been having a back on reaction. We have Vampire, Olivia Rodrigo's first single from her second album. Twilight was even commenting on the post when she put it out. This little chickadee, her album Sour, absolutely rocked my world. I didn't listen to it for a little bit. My friend was like, get onto it. And I was like, nah, I'm not interested. I listened to it, it killed me. I got obsessed and then obviously it went on to do everything it was. She became huge, she now is what she is. Apparently Vampire was the most pre-saved song of 2023 so far. I have no idea what to expect. Is she, yeah, I really have no idea. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a bit darker than sour and probably quite on the pop like I think it's gonna have an absolute hook like this is gonna want to be a viral little song I think especially in the listing from a sophomore album obviously you know the second album has a lot to live up to when you have such an epically strong debut like she did if you want to check out that video it's on my channel it became one of my most watched videos you know when I first came out and I really didn't expect it from it so I guess I was kind of shook because I didn't really go into the album with many expectations and then it kind of blew up and I was like what the hell like okay cool <laughs> so I'm very keen now I guess I want to lower my expectations because I don't want to go in too hard and then be let down. We've got a single, we've got a music video. You know me, I love to go in with the song, jive it, see what it's all about, and then see what the music video has to entail. I am very, very keen. Like, low key, I'm very keen. So, I don't want to hype it up too much. How are we going to get one of these? We're going to crack it. If you want to see any of my uncut, they are on Patreon. Links are down below. This will be there. Nothing else to say. Let's go in with Vampire. Let's go. I did not expect a little piano ballad. What? I thought this was going to rock out. I hate to give the satisfaction asking how you're doing now. How's the oh. castle built of people you pretend to care about? Just what? what you... <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get out of it. You cool guy, you got it. Like another little like love song about She's a dude. A poetry, soul, to some forbidden paradise. I loved you truly. I laugh at the stupidity. Cause I've made some real big mistakes. Now we're rocking it. Every girl I ever talked to told me you were bad, bad news. I hate the way I called and crazy too. You're so convinced. Yeah, it's relatable. <laughs> that's gonna flow in when the album's eventually out. Right, I'm a bit perplexed. It's not that different from Sour in terms of lyrical content. I am a bit shook that we're still kind of in this spot. I don't know how much drama has gone on. I don't really know too much about the Josh, Sabrina, Taylor. However, I don't think her and Taylor are friends. And what I just realized throughout that song is that Sabrina is now supporting Taylor on her ears tour in Australia, which I don't know if you want to read into that. I I probably need to go a bit more deeper into the, the Swift talk or whatever. I'm not starting wars between fans. However, very interesting. I mean, it just made me think that when she spoke about being older because Sabrina spoke oh, like, there's all just like this real love triangle, whatever. And of course, Taylor's in there somewhere. <laughs> Why wouldn't she be? Not to take away from the song, and that's what we're here to talk about. I'm very keen to see the music video. However, it's not what I thought, and I am a little like, hmm, it could be a cut from Sour. Like, this doesn't feel like a new era. There's some awesome stuff. Her vocals sound very strong. It's a very cool little quirky song. How it, you know, like kind of changed it up. It definitely gave me happier than ever. Like, you know, starting off softly, rocking out. So I definitely think Billy kind of really set a precedence with what you can do, like how okay, you can spin songs out. Interesting. It, like I said, lyrical content is probably where I'm like, really, like, are we still here? And I know I'm not going to diminish her emotions and maybe this is with someone totally different. However, 
However, it still feels very similar lyrical content, if not the exact same stuff that we're at. And maybe she's still processing and maybe this was written straight after Sour or, you know, with what was going on. I don't know, maybe it's in reply to some things that other songs from other artists have directed her at. I don't know. Let me know if you know what the song's about and maybe it is about someone brand new and if it is sweet. But I guess for us as an audience, as the public who maybe don't know anything about her life, you would probably hear that. Well, I've definitely heard this and gone, hmm, okay, like... What else you got for us, girl? It also does feel a bit like it's a driver's license lead single, kind of like more of a... I don't know. I just expected something totally different. And maybe that's just the expectations we have on pop artists to really give us something new every time. Maybe I went in with two hour expectations. However, I think everything I've said is pretty valid. So I'm keen to hear what you guys think of the song. And did you think the same things or where you at with it? Let's go into this video. I'm keen to hear the song again, obviously. And keen to hear her bring it to life. See her bring it to life. Let's go. Ooh, the four by three ratio. It was like horror movie kind of vibe, like... Give me like Friday the 13th with that little lake. Obviously, a little stunorama chickadee. Oh. How are you doing now? How's the castle built of people you pretend to care about? Definitely love seeing like the emotion when she's singing it. I loved you truly. You gotta laugh at the stupidity. It is a beautiful song. I did not pick that up first listen. <laughs> That's, oh! 19th annual awards, what is this? What the F is going on? I called him crazy too, you're so convincing. What? Oh, this, what's the one girl? Like, well, I don't know if there's Easter eggs here. All right, she's brought me in with this music video. What is going on? <laughs> That's pretty sick. Pretty epic. I love how slow she's running and they can't catch her. <laughs> oh, like, a little movie ending float up. <laughs> yeah, amplifies the song. Yes, delivery. Oh, you definitely felt that. Yes, Petra Collins, get that direction. All right, I feel like me and Olivia just have this thing where I'm like, nah, 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 and then she always gets me. I mean, that music video, that slam and in of that light, absolutely unexpected, that award, what does this mean? Like, please let me know if there's Easter eggs in here because it's got to mean some stuff. Like I said, I'm not too deep into all the drama and all that crap. I just try to focus on the music when I like. Like I said, it still stands lyrically. It's still obviously very similar to sour lyrical content wise. However, it's still an awesome song. It's still sick. You absolutely will get hooked to it. I mean, even on the second list, and I was like, yes, I'm here for this, but just seeing the emotion and just, that mm. like again when people write these songs you're like lol at who you wrote it about because ouch and it sucks to be there what do you guys think i'm keen for the new year i'm very keen for an album called guts i really hope there's some more like grittier or just a bit more like mm, songs on the album because while this is sick obviously it's going to do well it's a very relatable song very angry very motive driven and like you know getting your vengeful getting your revenge back and just you know fame fucker i love that line i can't believe i didn't pick that up on the first listen sick 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 i'm keen i'm here for the new era it's definitely you know within her range and absolutely her brand so i guess that makes sense as well. Full on cuts on Patreon, all my links down below. Go check out Sour if you want to see my reaction to that. It's still absolutely one of the best albums I've heard in a very, very long time. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Other than that, hope you're going to go.